Welcome to Paradise everyone. In this episode I'm going to be going to extreme lengths to photograph one of the most venomous animals in the ocean. Now unfortunately I'm going to be doing it without my trusty sidekick Will who has got back in the bathtub and is refusing to leave. So today it's just me and this little camera here. My name is Bertie and this is Borneo from below. And I've just been having a chat to manager Chris here, who was telling me about a very, very cool site where apparently banded sea snakes come to rest at night. And you said that you'll take me out at sunrise tomorrow? Oh God, yes. Yes. Probably my least favorite thing about being a photographer are the constant early wake-ups. Morning, Chris. Morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? It's All right, really thanks. Early. It's 5.30. Yes, it is. Are you ready to see some banded sea yes. snakes? We should go before before they go back in the water. Chris, my assistant Sebastian and I made our way down to the jetty to see what is rumoured to be one of the most venomous creatures in the ocean. I'm just setting up a little time lapse here. The camera takes a photo every few seconds and then we take them back onto the computer, merge them all together and we get a nice, short, smooth video of the sun rising over the horizon. How are we looking? Like I was saying, I think it's too, it's windy. It's quite windy, so you can see when they're actually starting to move. So I think it's because it's windy they're going all the way into the inside. Sea snakes, also known as sea crates, are actually one of the most venomous animals in the ocean. These guys have ten times more venom than a black mamba. Banded sea snakes spend most of their time in the sea, but come on land to nest and rest. A lung runs the entire length of their body so they can stay submerged for long periods. Banded sea crates are fairly docile and rarely attack humans. This guy is big and fat, he's not quite ready to move. My ideal shot now would be to get this guy in the water and then I get a split level shot, the sun rising here with the snake in the water. I don't see any sea snakes right now, so I'm going to keep my hands to myself though because they like to hide in nooks and crannies. Come on, sea snake! He's probably going to land on my head now. I've been sitting and waiting in the water for almost an hour and I'm starting to get a bit cold now. So at some point I'm going to have to admit defeat and call it a day. He's just, he's just falling in. I'm not kidding. I'm getting in. Where is he? No! Where? Running a bit like Forrest Gump, trying to keep my toes away from its mouth, I attempt to get in front of the sea snake to take its picture. I have to take the pictures back now, but I think I managed to get something. Whilst it wasn't exactly the shot that I had in mind, I'm still pretty pleased with the end result. And sometimes, in this game, you've just got to adapt to your circumstances. Oh, and by the way, here's the time lapse I shot earlier. Point, oh, we're right up town so the hairs can blow. The girl who's on standby went just to say hi. Did they stop? No, I just drove by, kept on, pursuing to the next stop. If you're right, no, because I'm heading to the next drive to drop the stairs so I can take you to A1. A. Beach Trent Avenue, girls were hot, wearing less than bikinis, rotten and lovers, driving in the Lamborghinis, jealous, because I'm out getting my A for the day, because we're going to little ice, ice baby. Ice, ice baby. It's a wrap. 